Hello, 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 folks. Welcome to the monthly MC Parks cast member meeting for September. It's September 4th, 2024, and shortly after 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm joined today by Darren and Josh. How are you two doing? Doing pretty good yourself. Not too bad. Oh. A half hour ago, Darren had never been better. Now he's just doing pretty well. He's doing pretty good. We don't make we can't make callbacks to the cast member meeting in the public <laughs> meeting because especially now that they live in perpetu- in perpetuity on the internet. <laughs> um, but hey, folks, it's the first public meeting after the MC Parks Expo. I really, really enjoyed the expo. It was an amazing time. Um, Darren, Josh, how any expo highlights from either of you? Uh, except for the part where the MC Parks Expo gave me COVID. Mm. Uh, I got it unrelated to the expo. Some might say the, the the work trip that you went on immediately prior to and came home from about 12 hours before the MC Parks Expo uh, might yeah. actually be what get, what had get, given you COVID. Well, they and paid com- me, so combined... I can't say that they gave me COVID. <laughs> right. But then, but then that combined with the very little sleep that you probably got while doing all of the expo stuff. And what then... is sleep? Listening to the panels, you can hear the degrading of my voice and me get sicker. <laughs> and the, the, the of... time between thoughts that I say starts slowly growing as the day goes on because yeah. my brain is just so tired. That's yeah, uh, to make I would matters for... worse, I've cut out a couple of your longer pauses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's funny. yeah. That's funny. My the the brain fog was real. I ended up. Uh, I work remote, but I ended up taking a couple days off just because, like, I could not think or speak for several days. I would love for someone who doesn't know what the um, what the schedule of panels was to watch the panels on YouTube and then try and, and place them based on how it was. Yeah, based on how sick Darren sounds. <laughs> That's a challenge for you folks. Um, but speaking of that, the expo panels have been going live on the YouTube channel. Um, so if you mix, if you missed any of them, I highly recommend checking them out. There's some pretty awesome stuff there. Uh, we go pretty in depth with a bunch of different teams, uh, on MC parks, learn about what makes them tick, how they do the amazing work that they do. Uh, I think some... there's two more left to go up. Yeah. yeah technician is s- soon this week when I edit it, probably tomorrow, but maybe Friday. And then galaxy's edge is later because we want to reshoot a couple things. Yeah, we're putting in some extra little cool tidbits in the Galaxy's Edge one, so that's why that one's coming a little later. Uh, um, but yeah, you can you can watch my fire alarm. We not watch. You can hear my fire alarm go off if you go watch the show script and achievements panel. Um, Look, my editing for that part is is makes me laugh job, every time. I, I enjoyed it. I'll have to go and watch it. I haven't seen it. You should. It's so funny. <laughs> I watched it just to see how Josh cut around it, and he did a good job. Actually, that's uh, not true. I also watched to see to make sure he was redacting some. Uh, some personal info correctly yeah well you haven't been hacked yet so i good. hope we got it all yeah, no, it seems, <laughs> seems pretty good so that's far the, that's the test that's not uh, a challenge that speaking, the challenge i gave you earlier that that's not a challenge speaking of the mc parks youtube channel we got a oh, thing coming up soon it's true folks i have a question please tell me in chat if you are not subscribed to the mc parks youtube channel it's very important. Is anybody not currently subscribed? No, 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 no. Not are you subscribed? Are you not currently subscribed? Okay. So the re- the reason no, 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 don't don't currently unsubscribe. No, no, no. Hold no, no, on. No, no, it's not. Hold on, hold on. No, stop. Don't unsub. Oh, no, no, no. So the reason why I'm asking. All right, this is why we shouldn't have discussed this. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, the reason why I'm asking is because I believe we are currently uh, four subscribers away. Ooh, it was three earlier. Someone actually did unsubscribe. <laughs> we are we are four Ooh. subscribers away. Oh, sorry, now we're three again. Okay, okay. We are um, we are tantalizingly close to eight thousand subscribers on on YouTube. So if you are currently unsubscribed from our YouTube channel, oh, I see eight thousand now. So we might have just done it. Oh, okay. There we go. We did it. Congratulations, everybody. While I was doing that, we did it. Oh Good yeah, job. we're at eight thousand and one. Woo! Congratulations. Okay. Uh, cool. Well, there you go. We've reached 8,000 subscribers on YouTube. Isn't that cool? When do we get a play button? 100,000? <laughs> uh, we're a little, little ways away from that. A little ways away from that? We just have to do this exact scenario all day, every day, forever. Mm. 
Is, that's how it works. Uh, well, there you go. Thank you for ha getting us to 100,000 subscribers. I'm sorry that we've only really put up uh, meeting recordings this year. Uh, we've had folks working on bigger and better things. Um, but I have put up so many panels. Soon. We we might have some more some more videos coming soon. We are starting to build up the branding team a little bit more. Um, so gonna have some fun some fun content, I think. Um, but yeah, so there you go. But definitely go check out the YouTube channel. Um, if, whether you just subscribed or not, because we do have all of these awesome panels on there. Um, and also watch the keynote. I'm sure most of you have seen the keynote presentation by now, but we really, really do give you a whirlwind look into all of the things that our team is working on. Um, and we also, of course, launched some new things. Uh, who, who has who has completed an achievement or uh, or, or or played in a party game? Definitely not Devin. You know. Who can say? Uh, you know what I was going to do was I was going to get the number of achievements that had been completed. Uh, whoops. Last I checked, we were nearing 100,000 completed achievements. So, shout out to... Well, Ryan, uh, I just got the welcome home one, so... I, I'm really happy for you. I'm, I'm really happy for you. Yeah. Uh, so, thank you for uh, for doing that. Um, yeah, over over a hundred thousand achievements have been have been completed, which is really neat. Uh, a few people have gotten um, pretty close to, uh, and I think a couple even have gotten all of the currently available ones. Uh, we got more content coming. There's more like you know groups of of attraction sorts of achievements that we want to do. Uh, there's a really fun one um, uh, that I've that I that I'm almost. I'm almost finished with it. There's some weird thing that I'm having difficulty debugging why it's not working. Uh, this is a Brennan original, and that was uh, to ride every ride that we have in Disneyland in the order that they opened in real life. Oh, no. That's a Some research fun. required for that yeah, one. Yeah, 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 you know. Um, uh, so, you know, there's, there's, there's stuff like that. Um, but, yeah. Uh, we're not going to do achievements for completing all of the achievements, uh, Biflamed, um, but... Because um, we're always adding new achievements. Exactly, exactly. But but I, I, I will add achievements for completing certain amounts of achievements, um, and I think that will be kind of how we do that instead. Uh, you, you want a checklist for that? I think I think we won't do... We won't tell you what ride to ride next. We're going to make you look that up and learn something. Uh, but we'll probably like you know we'll tell you how how much of the way through you are if that's fair. Um, but yeah, then obviously if you do something in the wrong order, you restart at zero. Imagine you get all the way. I don't know how many rides are open at Disneyland right now, but you get all the way up to like twenty, thirty rides, and you mess up. You have to do it all over. Hey, that's that's part of the part of the challenge. And then, of course, you know, I want to do things like all of the rides in, like, a resort without warping or teleporting and, like, other kinds of, like, you know, more marathon-y kinds, uh, kinds of stuff like that. So I think those are fun. They're fun to do with friends. Um, and, yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of things that I have in my head and has also even been giving uh, us some ideas for kind of more involved, um, more involved things that are, you know, even bigger than achievements, like more quest-style things, so... Definitely lots of lots of MC Parks content coming your way in the future. You know what the best thing about the expo being done is? What's the best thing about the expo being done, Darren? We can talk about everything now. I know, I know. Uh, it is lots of fun. What what do you want to talk about that you couldn't talk about before? Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. Opening fall. Yeah. Big if true. Big if true. It does happen <laughs> to be true, actually. Oh my gosh, it's so big. Uh, yeah. There's something else we did this past month. That's we true. Wanna... We participated in a little event uh, called CoasterCon, and as part of that event, we were helping them get to their to their donation goal. Um, they got over their donation goal. I believe they raised a total of twenty four hundred dollars. Is that right? Uh, let me pull it up. Something like that. Twenty-two forty-five. Okay, I was close. The That's original kind of less goal impressive. 
was 1500. It, there you go. But it, it feels less impressive because I said a number that was higher than the actual yeah. number. So whoops. Um, but to kind of sweeten the pot, we had said that we were going to be facilitating a little bit of a raffle. And for every $5 that folks donated to the CoasterCon cause, uh, which this year was, was Extra Life, for every $5 that somebody donated, they got one entry into a raffle to win a, a genuine piece of MC Parks history, and that is a certificate signifying MC Parks' world record in the Guinness Book of World Records. Darren, do you, do you have the certificate in front of you right now? Yeah, you want me to post a picture of it? Please post a picture of it. I wasn't expecting to put it on the spot. I post a picture of mine, but this one is still in the... The, the one the winner receives is still in the, still in the, the packaging. Mm. Waiting for the picture. This is wonderful audio content. It's uploading, it's uploading, it's uploading. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking so long. It's a copy of a picture from Discord to Discord. Hey. There it is. So there is there is the certificate. The most real world theme parks recreated in a video game was achieved by the MC Park server, which currently, it's not current, uh, hosts seven real world theme parks recreated in Minecraft to a one to one scale, totaling 4.7 kilometers squared in area as of the 1st of July, 2016. I like how yeah. they say currently as of July 1st, as though. Well, that's, <laughs> that's correct. That is how English works. That's how you should say that. Look, if you think I know how English works. Yeah, you can, you can say that. That's fine. Husky Canadians. Um, yeah, but, um, so, we're here to give away this world record. So they might not be here. They might, they might not even be anyone who has, cares about MC Parks who wins this. Uh, and if that's the case, then we will, uh, we'll of course, we'll of course re-roll. Uh, but we can't re-roll without knowing if there's someone who cares about MC Parks. But, like, we'll make an informed judgment call based on, because these are most of the people who we recognize. Uh, so I have, I have the, I have the, the drawing in front of me right now. Um, uh, I don't have a way to share my screen without uh, leaking other things. We could just trust you. Okay, we're just going to trust Ryan. Um, as long as I don't have to blur stuff again. Right. Uh, so here we go. Stuff. I'm, I'm drawing right now. It's happening. Hearing you shuffle through it earlier in ChatGPT, and yeah, uh, I, b I believe you. It was a lot of work to to fake to interrupt my conversation earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's happening right now. And the winner is. Uh, okay. For some reason, it's regenerating the script. It's fine. We're all good. It's happening. Oh, this uh, happened last year because it it idled for too long. Oh, you're right. Yes, the yes, exact yes. Exact same thing. <laughs> you think we'd learn? No. And uh, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> it's it's decimate. Do we know who decimate is? Yeah, he's a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> like one of the one of the coasters and crafters people. Uh, he just goes to the event. Okay. Do, do you think he wants this award? Yeah, champ. Decimate Jersey. <laughs> okay. A few, few people in chat who who seem to know this person. Well, there you go. Tell tell Decimate Journey that they've uh they've jersey. won a jersey. Sorry that they've. That they've won, uh, and I guess I guess I'll do one more draw for the road, just in case they don't want it. Oh boy, yeah, don't but... don't announce who that is in case they do want it, though. It's just going to disappoint the other person. That's true. That's true. Oh, okay, well, the the backup is the person who has by far the most entries. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So you know, we'll see. We got we got someone, and we've got uh, we got a backup just in case. Congratulations to all involved. Thank you for <laughs> uh, for those of you guys who don't know. From our panel to the end of the event, it raised more than 
all of the time leading up to the event. We okay. have that effect on you don't gotta somehow. be you don't gotta be so uh so so uh no so but like we, we doubled the fun wow That's aren't the... we cool I, I know what MC saying. Parks community rallied together and we doubled the fundraising amount. There you go. The uh, the representative from Extra Life, he did a, a short Q&A. And one of the things he said was the uh, first, I think it's like a thousand people to raise two thousand dollars. Get like a custom PS5 controller or something. You got uh, Chezzer, the PS5. Yeah, controller. so all I could think about was. Chess is going to get a sweet little grubby pause all over that custom Extra Life controller. Let the record show that Darren wasn't thinking about all the critically ill children who, uh, whose, <laughs> whose lives we improved. I was thinking about Chezzer and Ewan getting those sweet, sweet re- rewards. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. That's, um... <laughs> that's that. What else is going on? Do we have anything else? Oh, it's we Halloween rock. time. Okay, yeah. That's exciting, right? Are we it's, excited? Uh, oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's going. There's decorations up. We have indeed started putting up the decorations. Um, there are decorations up on main streets the world over. And by the world over, I mean Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Um, the America over. The America over. Imagine joining MC Parks for the first time. Everyone yells welcome home at you, and then immediately after, everyone's cheering for the end of Happily Ever After. Well, I, it's if, over. If, if, you can, if you can't handle that, you, you shouldn't be on this server. That's the chaos that happens here. There you go. Well. Uh, what, what was I talking about? Oh, Halloween. So yeah, so the, the decorations are up. You might notice that Halloween variants of the bunting and the um uh the garland have been added to the resource pack uh so shout out to i think king and parker uh, who collaborated together to get some of that going um and like accident and nasa and a bunch of people put them up for actually putting it up for doing all the grunt work put, putting them up uh so yeah we appreciate the uh the, the holiday services committee and uh we're gonna have some we're gonna have some more Halloween stuff going on, of course. Um, Who's ready the, to scream? Yeah, the only thing that we are, um, the only thing that we are, uh, that we are announcing, I guess, right now, is the return of of Halloween, which is happening when, Josh? Uh, Saturday, six p.m., and then it'll do a six p.m. time slot all month and probably next month we may uh, expand those time slots next month but i'm not i'm not sure about that yet to be determined okay i'm gonna have to add a uh, an achievement for watching the show and screaming uh ghost uh. galaxy is probably also coming oh yeah ghost to, galaxy forever ghost galaxy i need to ask brab how to flip the switch if it's just easier I, I believe we had it down to just one show that you just run uh, i it hope so pretty sure uh so yeah halloween and maybe some more well definitely some more but we're not gonna we're, more will come in future announcements All right. Uh, apparently, uh, the prize winner, whose name I've already forgotten how to pronounce, is asking how they claim their prize. Just reach out to us. They're not too tough to find. Don't yeah. Message me on Discord. Yeah. Um, I think now I will do the top ten rides and the top ten riders, and we'll move on to questions. Unless there's anything else that uh that you two wanted to want to chat about before then beforehand. Uh, uh, well, what we um, in the past month, if we're doing a recap, we also oh, sure. ended TFN. That's true. That's the true. final month came. Well, the final week came after the expo. That's true. That's true. How how did the uh, the big beach party at Castaway Key go? It went very well, especially considering we had so many people on Dreamscapes, and I was hoping it could handle it, <laughs> and it All did. Right. There you go. Um, well, we yeah. don't have anyone simultaneously running. You know, uh, yeah, but you know, 
Castaway is a big island. I wasn't sure how far out people would spread. Well, that's fine. Like, we can render a bunch of chunks. That's not what, whatever. This is not a Ryan has a technical conversation with Josh. Um, like, <laughs> like the, the issue with the, with the races is, like, literally all of the movement packets that are being sent. Like, that's what the bottleneck is right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's the fact that so many people are moving within view of so many other people constantly. That's the bottleneck. Yeah, we had that problem for the racing team. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, like, if they spread out, it's fine. Or if they're all together, it's fine. But, yeah. All right, let's do a top ten uh, for, the, for the month, and then we will, uh, we, will, we will take your questions. So, in tenth place this month, we had the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh in Disneyland with 1,581. Ninth place is Magic Kingdom's Haunted Mansion with 1,698. Eighth place is Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean with 1,817. Seventh place is Living with the Land with 2,024. Um, topical for the year, I guess. Sixth place is Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket in Universal Studios Florida with 2,028. Fifth place is the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover with 2,398 rides. Test Track is in fourth with... 2,644. We got Spaceship Earth in third with 3,189. The Silly Symphony Swings is in second with 3,505. And first place is the Inside Out Emotional Whirlwind with 5,439 rides. Since when? This month, last 30 days. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an unusual one to be at the top. I mean, it's in the area of the rest of them that are always at the top, but like... You know? It is what it is. And our top 10 riders for the month. We've got Death by Monkeys in 10th with 1,135. Simpsons Rule 690 in 9th with 1,140. We got Skinny P himself in 8th place with 1,491. In 7th place, it's James A. Garza 11 with 1,620. And what number is this? 6th place, it's 515K with 1,796. Fifth place is Gamer Gadget with 1,898. Fourth place is Wyatt Care Bear with 1,913. Sunglasses is in third with 2,010. We got Bubbles Ducky in second with 2,049. And first place this month is Pato Slays with 2,677 rides. It's your top 10 rides and your top 10 riders for of the month. Brian, I noticed you didn't make the list this month. I didn't. Neither did you. What's what's your point? Well, I don't know. Okay. This feels like you could have spent more time riding rides. That that's true. I could have. I I, I could have done a whole big number of other things too. <laughs> Which point? I'm so confused if this is going somewhere. I mean, no, me. no, no, no. I'm, I'm <laughs> okay. very confused. Yeah, you're right. You're you right. I could sometimes it's a bit. Sometimes just the. Uh... It's just me it's, at Coaster Con asking Bryce about eggs for. 20 minutes. Uh, I found me in the list. I rode actually a significantly higher number of rides than I think I ever have in a 30 day period. I rode 109 rides. How high of K were you this month? I don't know. Uh, I feel like I got pushed on stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm, right, I'm right up there with Crazy Pencil 1134 and The Buddy, but the E is a 3. We all rode 109 rides. Uh, I don't know what number it is, though, because I'd have to scroll a bunch, and I don't, I don't, I don't print the numbers in the in the table. I should, because I always forget things. Um, but you know, every time I see Ryan, he's sitting, so I can't push him. See, you folks have 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 found my my new strat to not get uh, dragged onto rides, and it is simply. Sit somewhere when you go AFK. So I always find somewhere nice to sit, and then that's that's where I go AFK. Ryan's ruining Honda's what Ryan does on MC Parks video. It's gotta sit. It's gotta sit. I've been I've been debating. I don't want to make achievements for like, you know, go find AFK Ryan or like go do something annoying to someone else because. I feel like that will then create an incentive of like 
you Bad know behavior yeah yeah and like you know people demanding that like i sit down so they can get their freaking achievement or whatever like eh i don't i don't think we need that in our lives so i'm sorry yeah, see, <laughs> the, the uh ride a ride with a cast member who created it i'm like ah well we did that for the panel that wasn't like for real like obviously we yeah, never gonna add that. But that that was suggested i was like man that would make a interesting real achievement there'd be some interesting consequences yeah of yeah, that. yeah. No, a that, was a, achievement. that was a, that was a good idea to show the expressiveness of the language of the achievement writing language uh, we're, we're referencing the the show script three and achievements panel um for for folks who are who don't know so go watch that on youtube if you haven't uh but what to make to show off how we make achievements we took suggestions from the audience and the suggestion that we took was ride a ride with a cast member who worked on that ride and we wrote that achievement um and yeah i think it was a neat thing to show off but i do not think we would ever implement something like that because then when cast members are online they will always be bombarded by guests to ride the rides that they worked on and i feel like that would just get really annoying for our cast members Uh, I Broken, did manage Broken to says get that the, uh... he knows a lot of Roblox games who do that, like interact with the creator and stuff. Oh, uh, but boy. mostly labeled as impossible when the creative becomes inactive. Well, yeah, and then I'm sure when the creator is around, that everyone's like mobbing them and making their life miserable, right? Like you know, it's fun, and it seems like a fun idea. And I remember being, you know eight years old and being on Club Penguin and tracking where the where the team member character accounts were and you're all you're always trying to track down Rock Hopper to get a special thing. But like, you know, do I want to subject all the cast members to that? Not really. I did get the uh, ride a ride with 40 other guests achievement. That is a cool one. That is a cool one. It was the first time I did a group ride, so I actually got all of the group ride ones ah, up to 40 at the same time. <laughs> very exciting. Very exciting. See, Jake, Jake says maybe something simple like ride a ride with a cast member. But still, then whenever a cast member is online, everyone's going to be hounding them to ride a ride. I don't want to create that incentive structure. That's like my problem. And if you live in a time zone that, you know, not a lot of cast members are on during the time um, that you're on. No, that's I mean, that not. No, it, it, there, there are going to be achievements that, you know, are just going to, you know, you're going to have to come online at a different time sometimes. That's just going to happen. So that's not really a concern of mine. But um, it, it is just like, you know, the, it, it, I don't want to create, you know, mixed incentive structures that um, are going to make the lives of cast members worse. So, yeah. All right. Uh, if you do have legitimate ideas for achievements that are different than buy a churro and give it to Shadowy Shark Thirteen, uh, you can of course <laughs> uh, submit them at uh, mcparks.us/support. Uh, that is that is a place you can do that. All right. Let us move on to the questions and answers portion of our program. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I said I would talk more about uh, more about pins. Uh, so it's 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 important to note that the first release of pins is not going to include pin trading. Uh, it's just going to be pin collecting uh, because in order to uh, do uh, trading infrastructure that will be good, uh, there's some more wholesale changes to inventories that need to happen. Um, so. At first, it is just going to be pin collecting. Uh, that being said, here's how. Um, so what I've done a lot of work for is a lot of the like backend for just like the creations of of, of pins and uh, like creating like random draws of pins for like pin packs and stuff like that. Um, what I'm currently thinking, and as far as how this is marketed, I'm very open to suggestion. Um, if people don't like this idea, but my thought was, so you have a bunch of pins, pins of different rarities. There's commons, you know, there's uncommons, there's, there's rares and, and whatever. And, and I think legendary is the other thing that I had in, in, in my mind. Um, and you can buy 
commons, a la carte in shops, just like regular items. Um, but anything rarer than a common only shows up in in random draw packs. Um, you know, obviously, no real money or anything. This is all just park points. Um, but uh, you know, you get you you, and then you get your little pin packs. Uh, in real life, Disney gives you uh, random draw pin packs only give you two pins. I don't. I feel like that's very skimpy. But like, you know, if that's what they do in real life, maybe we just do that. I don't know. Um, but the idea is that that's how you will get pins. And then once you get pins, they're just regular old items that you can have in your inventory. Um, and you can do anything that you want with them in your inventory. But when you're ready to catalog them, uh, when you open up your keepsake book, there's a new um, button that is called your pin book. And clicking on your pin book will bring up something um, kind of similar to the achievements list, but um, uh, split up into all the different series of pins that we have. And um, there's also a button where you can deposit your pins. And the pin deposit button will bring up an empty GUI, all the slots are there, and you just drag your pins right in. And then we will automatically sort them into the correct slots in your, in your collection, in, uh, you know, in, in the proper series. Um, and obviously you'll have duplicates, um, you know, like that'll be something that happens. Um, and you know you can have as many as you want in there. Uh, you know that'll just be where all your pins are stored. Uh, but you can take out things after you after you deposit them. So you know in the future that'll be good for trading. Uh, for now you can just do kind of like ad hoc trading of just like literally throwing the thing on the ground at people. Uh, but you know the intention is for more controlled trading in the future. Um, so that's uh that's like the gist of it, and that's like what I was planning for the first release um another way to get i wasn't planning on this for like the initial launch but maybe i'll still do it uh another way that i want i was like it would be cool if you could get um rarer pins is um uh if i just like randomly spawn them in the world and you saw like a floating pin in like a bush or something and you would you go pick it up uh another thing you know how we have all these casimber uh armor stands around the world what if they all had like little pin inventories so and if you walked up to them and you right clicked them and they had a little lanyard of pins and you could trade pins with them i think that'd be neat right and like the they're the pins that they have randomly uh like regenerate once every couple hours or whatever i think that'd be cool and then like you know there might be some you know there'd be some chance they get something rare there oh i also i also wrote it in so uh there's like a shiny Pokemon kind of system to it. So there's a random chance. I forget what chance I picked was, uh, but it's it's pretty rare. Uh, but whenever a pin spawns, it might the item might be enchanted. Uh, and so then you'll have like a super special enchanted version of it. So, you know, you could get, you know, you could you could complete all your collections with all enchanted pins. They're gonna be pin shinies. I'm doing pin shinies. I'm doing it, Quantum Defender. I'm sorry. I gotta do it to you. Of course, no one's no one's forcing you to complete a shiny set of pins. No one's gonna make you do that. But you could, and it would be fun. I want pins to be like a park point sink. I think we have a lot of ways to earn park points right now, and I think we need more things to spend your park points on. Um, and so pins are something that I'm designing to be like something that you do like sink a bunch of park points into. Um, so that's that's the deal there. Darren, what's your dream? What's your dream feature for pins? Sorry, I'm figuring out shipping for. Uh... Ah, uh, okay, okay. For the certificate, you pick the the one guy in the UK, so it's. Uh... Oh well, look, I sorry. <laughs> What's your dream feature for pins, Darren? Uh, sometimes when you take the backs off, you stab your thumb, mm. and I think it'd be really cool if that didn't happen <laughs> anymore. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, guess what? There's a zero percent chance that'll happen to you when I'm. Sick I was going to say the opposite. You put a Is zero or your... very low. So, so very low percent chance of when you put a pin into your pin book, we like spawn a couple of red particles around you. Like, oh, <laughs> you, no, you like <laughs> you actually bled out. damage or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Okay, that's an idea. We'll we'll take that under advisement. All right, so that's that's what's been uh, that's what's been that that's that's currently my vision for pins. Most of the back end stuff is there. A lot of like the front end sort of generation of the packs and stuff isn't quite there. Um, and I did I did stop doing it to get uh, other things for the expo ready to go. But that's where also, I'm at. the that's collab what... with pixel artists needs to happen at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and initially, I was thinking like, oh, to release for pins, we could just have like sets a couple sets of just like some of the ride icons. Uh, I think uh, a few folks weren't very happy about that idea, and they, uh, they they pled with me to maybe wait until we could have some special some special pin designs. Um, Bring so. back the uh, old riot icons that we used to have before the the, the fancy ones. Uh, you know, the you clip art ones, ones. You mean the ones that we <laughs> took out because of how big they were in the resource pack? Yeah, those ones. Right. Uh, no. Uh, but yeah, we're we're trying to be like nice and flexible with the pin design um, uh, because you know we might do some pins that are uh, custom to MC Parks. We might do some pins um, for um, uh, that are like recreations of of real life pins. Like from the art side of things, you know, we're still kind of uh, talking with some pixel artists about what we want to do and all of that. Um, uh, so yeah, so we're still kind of uh, working through all of that. And um, I'm I'm super excited for it. So that's pins. All right, Liam has asked if there are any updates on party races. Um, so uh, there haven't been any updates since we initially launched. Right now, we just had all of the the fun and games of folks uh, playing with them. By the way, for folks who have done party races, how are we enjoying them so far? Are we liking? Are we liking it? Are we having a good time? That's amazing. Played two today. They were amazing. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm, I think they're a lot of fun. Um, if you haven't tried them out yet, definitely recommend that you do. Start a party and do party game, and then you can, um, you can, you can do, you can, you can select one of the races. Uh, but we definitely have lots of plans for new maps. We have plans for some configurable options. Uh, for for party games, um, I know one that's been uh, a couple that have been requested. Um, sometimes people want to have it so your uh, fellow racers are invisible, so you can't just like copy their movements. That's one that I've seen. Uh, I've 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 seen folks ask for um, well various different maps. Um, one that I know we want to do is just make it so it selects like three or four random rides instead of just being you know the same things every time. But and then you don't know what they are until the race starts. So there's a little bit more uh, randomness in there, um, uh, but yeah, you know, there's there's lots and lots of, of configurable options that we want to add. I was talking about what if only one person from the race could be in a vehicle at a time. So like, if you start the four parks one, like everyone can get on the same bus. The first person on that bus is the only one who's going to be on that bus. Um, and uh, and yeah, so we got we got tons of tons of ideas uh, for sure. And um, even outside of races, we have a lot of ideas for other party games that we'd like to add. Um, uh, you know, there's been talk about turning things like Four Corners or Trivia or Hide and Seek and other like games that people, Red Light, Green Light, other games that people play on the server as it is, turning some of those into party games. Um, and we've had some other ideas too, um, you know, that take inspiration from uh, from other 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 video games and other uh, things around the internet that might be fun to play as as party games on MC Parks. So we've got we've got loads of um, we got loads of stuff. Uh, uh, Sacred. I probably would not. Um, I probably would not make it so everyone gets different rides because that would make it kind of a lot less competitive. Because then it really just would be. Gee, I hope I get short rides in my list yeah imagine one person in your party gets splash mountain and one person gets like Dumbo and peter pan yeah yeah like you know i i don't think i think it'll still be the same the same things for everybody uh so yeah party games those are those are happening um and it's been great to see everybody uh having a lot of fun doing all of their doing all their races What other questions do we have? Anything else anybody wants to know about this week? 
Party game parkour, yeah, yeah, I think parkour is definitely something. Um, you know, we have a couple of unreleased parkour maps that we made in uh, March 2020. Oh, that, yeah, 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 I remember those. Yeah, yeah, so. We also have that, like, color splash game that we never do anything with. We do, we do, we do. Uh, Galaxy Edge updates? Yeah, if you have Uh, any cut... If you, if you if you want something about Galaxy's Edge updates, uh, go watch the panel. Not on YouTube yet. Uh, it's not on YouTube yet, but it will be up there, and we'll have loads and loads of fun updates for you to watch there. Uh, any idea when there will be a speedrunning leaderboard? Uh, so for right now, um, I when I when I, we first make a leaderboard, it's going to be manual, and we're going to uh, require video submissions of of runs. Um, until we set up a system, and I don't know when we'll do this or if we'll do this, but in order to have an automatic leaderboard, um, uh, I would have to uh, start like you know recording the packets of everybody's runs so we can do replays. Um, and that's just going to be a relatively big lift for what could otherwise be, you know, accomplished by people just sending in videos. Uh, so at least to start. Um, so far, so far, nobody has sent in a video. Uh, so so far, there's uh, there are zero official runs, um, but the place right now for videos to be uh, to be submitted are uh, are are the the thread in Parks Pictures. Um, so post your videos in in the Party Games uh, Racing Speedrun Videos thread in in Parks Pictures, um, and then I will I will pin records. And maybe somebody more enterprising than me can maintain an official list of leaderboards. But that thread on Discord will be the will be the official place to. Uh, I to think post Phoenicians them. can probably do it. You think so? Yeah. All right. It feels more his speed. Yeah, hey, you're right. Uh, achievement based pins, yes, a hundred percent, yes. Uh, in fact, there might be some current achievements that will eventually give pins as rewards and we've already thought about that and if we ever add additional rewards to pre-existing achievements uh, there already is a way for you to claim the extra rewards from you know so even if you already completed the achievement so yes and yes is the answer is the answer there uh, updates on mickey and minnie's runaway railway uh, we haven't had anybody do any work on mickey and minnie's runaway railway since 2020 um, in the interim, in the intervening years, we've had a lot of, uh, to like the style and how we do things on the server. Um, and I think to do Runway Railway, we would want to, um, how do I put this? So Runway Railway is a very contrasting visual style to the rest of the park, right? Because you are going into a cartoon. In order to do it justice on MC Parks, I think I would similarly want to have the visual style be drastically different than everything else on purpose to, again, accentuate the idea of you going into the cartoon. Is that fair to say, Darren? Sorry, you're figuring out your shipping nonsense. Okay. I'm, trying, I'm trying to make this conversation, you know? Sorry, I'm doing a couple things. I understand. Uh, so yeah, so so you know we'd want to do um, we'd want to do some of that. What are you talking about? We're talking about Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and how uh, it, oh, next if we week, were to right? do it, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how and how if we were to do it, uh, we would want to dr- have the visual style be drastically different from everything else on the server to similarly have that accentuation of you entering the cartoon like there is in real life. Yeah, yeah stay tuned for more. There you go. That's what we keep you around for. Uh, any updates on Soren? There have not been any progress on Soren in a number of years. Uh, believe it or not, most of our team uh, enjoys building at a one-to-one scale and doesn't enjoy building the big uh, outdoor sets. Um, you know that Soren requires. Um, to be fair, more almost built all of Sydney at a one-to-one scale. That's far. true, and then we realized that actually that was too big, and that we actually going to have to do it on a slightly smaller scale to make the thing work. So, you know, um, so I don't have, unfortunately, don't have anything to share uh, about Soren at this time. Uh, you can know you what's, sense, what's fun that we can say now? Yeah. 
two weeks ago at the expo. We gave progress reports on everything. <laughs> if true. it wasn't listed in that, there's a good chance it doesn't have any working. active progress. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. There's also a lot of additional details we gave through the I, panels, unlike other stuff that we didn't mention in the keynote. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can we send speedrun videos privately? Uh, no. The intention is for all of that to be out in the open, just like real speedrunning leaderboards on, elsewhere on the internet. Uh, the way that it's done is the whole point is that there aren't any secrets. People are doing it out in the open, so things can be audited and the community can learn from the strats and you know get to the lowest uh, the lowest time possible. That's 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 how that's how speedruns work, <laughs> and that's how we're gonna do it. Um, any updates on Bush Gardens Tampa? Uh, please see the expo. Uh, we talked a little bit about Bush Gardens and extra work that's going on there. It's actually one of it actually I think is the first thing that we talk about. I'm yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah, it's in the first five minutes. After yeah, uh, after it's the in the first segment. I think I think accident talks about something else. Disneyland Paris first, and then uh, Bush Gardens. There you go. Luminous updates. Uh, nobody's doing any work on Luminous right now. Uh, when Haunted Houses will be returning, I'm assuming you're talking about Halloween Horror Nights. We have not announced anything publicly about that just yet. Uh, progress on Carousel of Progress. Uh, we haven't been doing too much of that um, recently. It's been a few months since, uh, since any work's gotten done on that. So sorry to say that. Uh, any progress on Transformers? No, no progress on Transformers. Um, I see some questions about uh, clarifications for speedruns. Uh, as people start to submit videos, uh, we will we will generate the rules as we go. Um, DCL updates. Look, um, I worked on that thing for five straight months. Give me a break. <laughs> I recommend uh, watching the expo where we announced it. Uh, we shared we shared some fun stuff there. Uh, work on Fantasy Springs. Very early kind of stuff. Um, um, but uh, nothing nothing too crazy. What's the hardest part about putting the expo together? I think just, you know, getting everything over the finish line, right? Because, um, you know, so much stuff happens. Like, the first 80% of it just kind of, like, happens. People are just doing their thing. We get closer and closer. But... Getting to the point where we're putting everything together and we're finishing everything up and we're getting everything 100% ready to go, um, you know, it's just that last, it's that last little bit that uh, that takes the most time. That's the most, uh, you know, the hardest to do. Doing ten panels in two days. It's the, the hardest part true. about the expo. <laughs> yeah, especially if you have COVID. Uh, what's the question you get asked the most? When will blank open? Yep. Or any I, update on that. blank? When can I get a no break? No question. Literally whenever you want. This is a volunteer project, and please, if you, if you feel like you need a break, take a break. It's that easy. Uh, how is the model Palooza going to be in terms of lag? That is, uh, client performance is one of the things that we are, um, you know, uh, evaluating when we make those choices. Uh, so model Palooza, um, as it exists, is like an experiment, right? We are just like experimenting with a bunch of different things. Like, what is it like if we model this? What is it like if we model this? Uh, and the intention is for us to be able to then look at it and say, OK, let's create a set of guidelines and, a, and you know, a new kind of style guide for what we do and don't want to make out of models. Um, and right now, like the point is, let's go overboard. Let's model everything. And then we can kind of start to pull back based on that um, as our team has conversations about a whole host of different things. Um, uh, to to help make that decision. The test error is also quite small, so the client performance hasn't been an issue that has been brought up yet. Uh, what's the progress of DreamWorks Land? Uh, so where we're currently at, um, we are the the the. It, we will probably open ET without any of the DreamWorks stuff in it, um, but like that's like the next thing to go as we start pushing uh, deeper and deeper into the park. There, um, uh, yeah, I don't think there's been a tremendous amount of interest uh, from folks on the team to be doing um, 
to be doing DreamWorks. I think they've been working on other things, but um, uh, most of the universal uh, manpower is either going towards Mummy or E.T. right now. Uh, progress of fixing the item frames. I remember you mentioning trying to fix it. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, the black the, things. In yeah, the, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I have to do a lot of crazy voodoo magic updates to some of our conversion scripts. Um, something that I started looking at a little bit last week. Um, but yeah. Nothing more to share on that. Uh, plans for Harry Potter World. Will Harry Potter also have pins? Uh, well, we already have the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Hogsmeade. It's already open. You get to go to Warp Hogsmeade right now. Um, and uh, Diagon Alley, which is over at Universal Studios Florida, is under construction, Old. but uh, not yeah. quite uh, as close to uh, to completion as some of the, you know, so for maybe folks who are, are newer, uh, we've started rebuilding Universal Studios Florida. Uh, the whole kind of front of the park is open and the current like frontiers are moving over towards uh, the New York section and Revenge of the Mummy. Um, or sorry, no, like we have that built, but we are still opening Revenge of the Mummy, the attraction and pushing out towards, uh, ET. Those are like the current frontiers. And so, uh, before we get to, um, to Diagon Alley, we still have to paste in, uh, our replacement for San Francisco, um, and that sort of exterior London area. So like we're getting there, but, um, I don't think a bunch has been, has been finished so far. And we're definitely focused more on some of the other stuff that we're, uh, that we're, that we're getting to first. In the universal panel, there's also a few people who discussed interest in moving over to Harry Potter once some of the current projects are, are over the finish line. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to expo announcements, were attractions chosen by current progress and activity? How do you balance that with the volunteer slash work on what you want aspect of MC Parks? Uh, so we picked what we the know team. It's close. Well, no, we we picked what the team wanted to shut out. Um, so like you know everything that was picked there like was because people who were working on it wanted to talk about it. Um, Basically. Yeah, you know, like we definitely don't have any, um, uh, you know, like the things that we have like dates on in quotes are things that like the people who are working on it um have kind of decided like yeah i'm committing to doing this uh we definitely don't ask people to do that um you know but uh but sometimes sometimes they they want to uh sometimes it helps them to even you know finish something and get it over the line um you know it's different things for different people and you know literally it is um it was something that was that was kind of from the ground up kind of decided by by the team like we gave some suggestions like hey know that you're working on this do you want to talk about the expo and um you know for the most part well a hundred percent of them uh were 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 you know pe people were bought into it um is the harry potter castle still under construction since it's a big attraction uh so the harry potter castle is um harry potter and the forbidden journey um, and that attraction is still in progress. Uh, I say still in progress. Very, very little of it uh, ha has actually been done. Um, but yeah, it's closed because that attraction is obviously a larger scale, um, you know, kind of kind of simulator experience um, that, uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that uh, that we need to do to get that ready to go. Um, and uh, yeah, the way that things work here, obviously, is people work on, for the most part, the attractions that they want to work on, the projects they want to work on. Uh, and nobody's shown a uh, crazy amount of desire to do work over in um, for Forbidden Journey. Uh, when will the Expo Hall close? Um, I don't know. Shortly after the last panel goes up on YouTube. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Because we we reference the Expo Hall a few times in the panels, so just just to make sure that you have a a few days to listen to the panels and like check out stuff in the expo hall that we call out yeah uh will we be changing one of the splash mountains to tiana eventually we'll, we'll be changing both of them to tiana's well two of the three we'll be changing walt disney worlds and disneyland's to tiana's because that's what it is in real life um tokyo's well we haven't built tokyo's yet but assuming that nothing happens to that it's gonna stay the way it is in real life because we build things as they exist um in real life. I hope that answers your question. 
Do we have any other questions? We need more Tokyo Disneyland attractions. Uh, there's a few folks who, who are uh, going deeper into Adventureland presently in Tokyo Disneyland. Um, yeah. The, the panel has also revealed a surprising number of people interested in working on Tokyo once they're done with their projects as oh, well. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Really. yeah. I kind of forget that. Learning. There you go. The Universal one had a surprising amount of people who were like, oh, I want to do Tokyo stuff next. Interesting. I imagine a lot of Fantasy Springs. Uh, or no, there's other uh, stuff. Not really, no. Interesting. They sort of just specified Tokyo. They didn't really specify, like, where in Tokyo, but yeah. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, how do you become a volunteer or learn to work on rides? Uh, Caitlin, I recommend that you check out the application panel that is on the YouTube channel from the Expo. We talk a lot about how to get involved in there. Um, and then we also uh, have panels with each of the individual teams of incredibly talented cast members that you can um that you can go and check out uh and yeah if you're interested in like the technician side you can also check out ryan's uh show script panel that's true that's also true uh cam plays one can't wait to ride tokyo disneyland's pirates on main street yeah we had a we had a shared realization of uh where tokyo's pirates is and it's an it's an interesting place in the park it could conceivably yeah, like, be the next attraction in Tokyo to open because it's like right next to, it's right next to Main Street. You could just open it. Like it's right. Well, you know, couldn't just open. Do we have? I guess Peter Pan. I was gonna say, do we have three attractions of the same type open that's not a spinner? But I guess Peter, Peter Pan, Pan, like the, yeah, some of those rides. Uh, Space Mountain Asterisk. If you count hyperspace, maybe. You know, yeah. Are in progress projects a part of the Keys of the Kingdom tour? We can, we go yes. wherever the hell you want in the Keys of the Kingdom tour. We go wherever the heck you want. Yeah. Cam plays games one. Cam, you need to come back and redo Walt Disney World's uh, Peter Pan. <laughs> Why that specifically? Because uh, King put a sign up next to it today or this week about how bad it is. <laughs> there you go. But no, but why does Cam need to do that specifically? Oh, didn't he do... He did like the dark rides in Paris, and they're pretty good. That's true. All right. Anything else? Will toilets get interactive elements? Uh, awesome. yeah. No. 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 Please They'll get no. achievements, too. <laughs> Please, no. 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 Actually, believe it or not, a surprising number of achievements that Brennan suggested uh, involved bathrooms. <laughs> I was like, look, I don't want to... Do you want to make the regions for all the bathrooms everywhere? Because I don't. Because, <laughs> like, you can't make it so it only works at some bathrooms. Like, if you have any challenges that involve a bathroom, you'd have to work at all bathrooms. And I don't want to make regions for every single freaking restroom in every single park. Was there one of them, like, get off a roller coaster and visit a bathroom? Or yeah, that is one of the ones that he suggested, yes. <laughs> Um, so, you know. Look, will I take it out if someone on the team happened to make an interactive bathroom and then just, like, just just did it? No, I probably wouldn't remove it. Am I, I think putting that out into the world is encouraging. Do it? Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Whatever. All right. I think we'll end things off there. All right, look, if it's the thing that gets Cam back on the technician team, then I'm all for it. That's my one. That's that's the one the one instance in which I will uh in which I'll be for it. Approve. <laughs>
Tired. All right. I want to thank you folks for coming this week or month even to the MC Parks public meeting. It has been a pleasure to have you aboard. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. This meeting is presented by the Guinness Book of World Records. That's not true. Adjourned. Thank you very much for coming down. Good night, everyone. Have a good one.